Blessings, beloved brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Yearning Soul Christian Lifestyle Channel. I hope that you are well. My name, once again, is Grace Khaobepi, and I used to be Isan Goma. I practiced for five years and had an encounter with Christ. And so if you haven't had heard of my story, please go check the, our very first video. And so welcome to our loyal viewers and a big welcome to those just passing by. And if you're just new to this channel, please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel as well as, well as share it with your beloved uh, family members and friends. And so beloved brothers and sisters, our topic for today is be careful of monitoring spirits uh, and six signs you are not dealing with an ordinary friend. Or family member okay and beloved brothers and sisters again <laughs> you know if you're a child of God who is called uh, you will suffer um, or experience let me not say this experience this um, this issue countless of times okay and you'll you will experience this issue pretty often and you'd be surprised how many people who are called for ministry or in ministry or doing ministry that will literally have monitoring spirits assigned to them and so beloved brothers and sisters we see this with the story of judas with jesus and judas and so our opening scripture is john 6 verse 70 and if i am looking down it's because i have my notes here and so john 6 verse 70 jesus answered to them did i not choose you the 12th and one of you is a devil he spoke of judas iscariot the son of simon for it was he who would betray him being one of the 12. and so beloved uh, brothers and sisters again every child of god called will experience this and it, it won't just be a once-off thing but it would literally be uh, council, uh, countless of times and there's a reason for this God allows this and this is because God uses these situations to train us for spiritual warfare and to also grow in spiritual discernment on how to spot wolves in sheep's clothing and so beloved brothers and sisters if wolves looked like wolves we wouldn't need discernment right but because usually wolves look like sheep uh, it requires for you um, to heed you know the voices of the holy spirit and the leading of the holy spirit to to discern that you are probably dealing with a wolf and so beloved brothers and sisters the intention of the wolf is to kill steal and destroy but again jesus christ has come so that we have life and that we have life abundantly again beloved brothers and sisters the video uh, the purpose for this video is not to have you in paranoia you know or for you to question people unnecessary but it is rather to equip you to be aware of the enemy's devices and so beloved brothers and sisters we'll get right into it here are the six signs that you are probably dealing with a monitoring spirit in a body of an associate of someone that you love or uh, closely related to you or a friend and so number one is they are impolitely inquisitive sign number one they're impolitely inquisitive they want to know your moves almost everything about you whilst sharing nothing about themselves be very very careful of this and again i forgot to just disclaim that the reason why the enemy uses monitoring spirit is that unlike god the in en the enemy is not omnipresent you know he's not omnipot uh, omnipotent or omniscient he cannot be every at the same time so he doesn't know what's happening in people's lives and so for him to literally keep tabs on what's happening in our lives he literally sends people that are harboring this monitoring spirit now it could be that the people are aware that they have this monitoring spirit they might be working for the kingdom of darkness or they may, might not be aware that they have this thing that is inside of them and you might find that for some of them the monitoring spirit is also working against them and against their own life you know but also because the monitoring spirits again they work in a realm of in the kingdom of darkness they work for the kingdom of darkness so they don't just only uh, possess or oppress a person but they also use uh, the information shared to them are, are concerning other people you know and they use that information to block the uh, different people so these monitoring spirits are literally uh, stay in the host of a person's body 
and so beloved brothers and sisters so the first sign we mentioned that they are impolitely inquisitive they want to know your moves almost everything while sharing nothing about themselves sometimes they might not even know why they have these questions but you can almost discern when certain questions are being probed that it's not coming from a place of nothing there's something deeper here and then sign number two right after telling them your good news things almost do not work out immediately <laughs> okay and i remember beloved brothers and sisters when i was still so naive and i would just literally share everything and anything that god was doing with anyone and i learned early to stop doing that and so beloved brothers and sisters like there were even some breakthroughs that i received that i experienced and just right after sh sharing them with the person i thought was a friend immediately that blessing was terminated and so i also experienced this again um you know i experienced this with um you know uh, uh, my mom <laughs> you know my mom at this one point had this great business deal and opportunity that was actually coming for her and um and 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 i remember she was so excited and she, as as she was, she was about to dial and tell everyone and share with some of her friends and other people and i said to her i don't think you should be sharing this until you have signed on the dotted line because the person has said that you need to come on monday to sign and seal and the person was very enthusiastic and they were certain you know that they're going to do this deal but uh immediately after her picking up the phone call again she received um um, a message the very next day to say that the meeting is 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 postponed the meeting kept being postponed postponed till this day the deal never took place and in fact um you know the the, the only for the guy to die months later f with them having not uh have having have met to sign on the dotted line and so this was a guy again that was highly reliable that really really liked her you know a, a guy that she worked with for like 17 years who had opened up so many other opportunities for her but at the moment when she was supposed to sign again beloved brothers and sisters it kept being postponed until it was literally cancelled and so these are also the signs that of a monitoring spirit being present you almost feel like just when you are about to sign something or just when you're on the verge of breakthrough there's it feels like an invisible force came and and stole that blessing and then sign number three of the fact that when people are harboring monitoring spirits they are usually highly envious this is not always the case but you can feel that spirit of envy and it's like it's an uncontrollable envy and um and again you know sometimes the host is not aware that they have that spirit but they literally carrying that spirit and sometimes you will see that even when you share good news it's almost like they're not really excited for you or they will change the subject or they will try to one up you as if something even better is happening in their lives and usually because people that have an envious spirit are literally often gatekeepers of the monitoring spirit and so because those spirits in them are creating that envy again and so beloved brothers and sisters um you know um so so i'm just looking at my notes again I, I, yes so after immediately after sometimes even sharing your ideas on what's happening sometimes they one up you or they begin to copy everything concerning you your life or your breakthrough and you can see that okay i had this business idea implemented this business idea you went and did not just implement something similar but exactly the same you know oh um you know I'm doing this and now you're doing exactly the same thing and this is not just a once off coincidence thing but it's literally like a continuous pattern and then sign number four they often lack healthy boundaries you know if they are in your home again they want to access your bedroom they will pry into your stuff you know um, they, they just want to know about your life what's happening what's in the pipeline be careful with laptops you know I'm getting in the spirit right now some of you are leaving your laptops and your work exposed to people that are not right okay and so i remember i even had this one time a domestic worker who used to tell me in passing about how their previous boss was in so much debt that she she even knew the amount of how much debt the boss was in and she knew this because she would literally open <laughs> you know open her boss's uh letters from the mail she'd literally open and peek and read all the letters and so beloved brothers and sisters as you can imagine that person could not for me work for me 
any longer you know i started seeing some big red flags you know but you know sometimes as believers we want to give people the benefit of a doubt you want to give everybody a chance but after a while you realize that no, that no this person is actually um under the influence of the demonic uh the demonic uh, demonic spirits okay and then sign number five their presence come with come with a lot of chaos again beloved brothers and sisters the closer you get to them the more chaos you will experience you know this is because they are often a legion you know and um and because they've got these demons you know monitoring them and monitoring you and so often because you know because of that again you know um you'll experience you'll experience chaos because of the presence of those demons the closer you get to them and um yes and so sign number six is that there's something about them that just makes you feel a little bit uneasy and i'm talking about not suspicion but like your spiritual discernment like the holy spirit literally saying something is off here something is not right here you know and no matter how nice they may appear to be your spirit is still restless around them and beloved brothers and sisters before you are planted it's always um, important to pay attention and to listen to what God is calling for you to do in your life and um, and sometimes this might call for you praying and covering all your information in the blood of Jesus everything in the blood of Jesus what you're doing in the blood of Jesus and um, and just taking authority over your space but also um, if they are not willing to walk the walk with the father to come to a point of deliverance you cannot walk together because uh, they chaos will impact the calling and 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 the purpose that god has for your life and so beloved brothers and sisters may god open your eyes and protect you against all monitoring spirits okay because this is a very very big thing and also people that are operating in witchcraft they use monitoring spirits a lot a whole lot remember witches cannot be everywhere or at this in one place at the same time so they use these monitoring spirits to gain information on you to check if even their curses is working on you and so beloved brothers and sisters please be cautious uh, again not to be paranoid but just to be cautious and to be as gentle as a dove but also shrewd as a snake and so this is the end of our beautiful teaching and so bless you my beloved brothers and sisters have a blessed day and remember do not stop yearning for god and for his presence bye